Being here on Project Runway, it's the experience of a lifetime. Tiki was a guest judge last night on Bravo's Project Runway. The designer's challenge to create a new look for Tiki. <laughs> Who's the winner? I'd like to extend my congratulations to Jack. Thank you very much. You'll see your design on the Today Show. Oh my god, did I just friggin' win a challenge on Project Runway? Oh, oh, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice. I'm Jack McEnroth at New York Fashion Week with New Now Next Pop Lab, and we're here to see all the top models, top designers, and fashionistas from New York City and around the world. I'm here with the amazing and adorable menswear designer, John Bartlett. I'm here with Robert Tagliapietra. Jeffrey Costello. The two, they're two like little identical matching twin boyfriends. I love it. Don't we look like sisters? Every, everyone says so. Everybody. I wish I had your tiara. Oh, you know what? I didn't get any invites this year. You can sneak into a lot of them. How do you like it? Gorgeous? Thank you. We have to give a shout out to the shoes. I'm sorry. You just did. Oh, bitch. I mean, <laughs> a little blush does wonder. I just pinch my cheek because only fours wear blush. And what's going I'm on? Good. No, I don't. You're not close enough. Honey, you are <laughs> head to toe propped up. Oh, oh. And J-Lo earrings. Of course. <laughs> so I have my high and I have my low. Yeah, you have your high and your J-Lo. <laughs> all vintage. All vintage. Look at this. All vintage. Vintage meaning really he's poor and he can't yeah, afford it. I'm either. very poor. They say to be a top model, you really need to know how to work the runway. But apparently here at Trina Turk, they have the best gig in town. Lying around, having drinks, poolside. Oh, oh. I don't know what that's about. Awkward. We've got so many events with Barbie happening this year, being at her 50th, that we really... Yeah, she looks amazing. She's never looked better. She must have a lot of walk-in closets in that dream house, because she has a <laughs> lot of clothes. <laughs> Finally, there's clothes that are wearable for, like, mainstream America. That's yeah. not, you know, not a 28-inch waist, which right. I will never, ever be again. I don't think I ever will. Unless I, I get, like, some weird parasite, <laughs> it might happen. But Hey, guys, I'm with the adorable and talented Rebecca Taylor. I'm so excited to get to interview her. Anything that might look cute on me, Everything would look cute on you, honey. <laughs> you could wear a poncho. Oh, a poncho would be cute oh, for me. Poncho's good for you, because you're a little... Oh, uh, yeah, a little busty. Little busty. <laughs> for old times' sake, can I have... Um, can I, we can jump on my back really quickly. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Saturn asked me to design an outfit inspired by the Sky Redline Turbo. You know you want to see it. Ready? Here it is. Find out how I rethink design at bravotv.com. Hey, I'm Jack McEnroe. We're taking your old clothes, ripping them to shreds, and putting them back together, tailor-made for a collection just for you. Thanks for coming. So this clearly you are giving us head to toe gorgeousness. Oh, yeah, <laughs> seriously. Um, but you know, there might be a teensy tiny issue with your sense of style. I was in the Navy for five and a half years, guys. So really, I was wearing a lot of khaki and a lot of camouflage. But fatigue, yeah. fatigue. A lot of <laughs> so you actually drove that ship? I did. I drove the ship. I brought that ship around the world. Oh my god, do you believe that she like drove that gigantic ship? Yeah, full of semen. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's definite color inspiration here. <laughs> the poopy suit. The, the poopy, poopy suit. <laughs> I think my favorite piece of all of the pieces in the whole collection was the skirt that was made out of her jumpsuit, which I refuse to call a poopy suit. 